I have my ups and downs, just like anybody else. Maybe more than anybody else. I can be hard to figure out. And I like my privacy. I don't want you checking up on me all the time. But you know your family better than anybody else. So if you think they're acting different... Acting really down, crying all the time and for no good reason. Or getting really mad. Not able to sleep or sleeping too much. Shutting their friends out, giving their stuff away. Acting reckless, drinking, using drugs, staying out late. Suddenly not doing the stuff they used to love. Or doing things that is just not like them. And maybe nothing to worry about. It may be just high school. Or it may be something more. They may be depressed. Not just feeling down, but really, really sad. It might be that your kid is thinking about killing themselves. It happens. More than you think. More than it should. And people say, I had no idea. I thought it was just a phase they were going through. I never thought she'd do it. I wish he had come to me. I wish he had said something. I wish I'd said something. Even if I say I'm okay, or say I'm okay. Ask anyway. Don't give up on me. I may be really good at hiding my feelings. I don't want to make a big deal. If you think your kids are acting different, or if they seem like a different person, say something. Say, what's up? Let's talk about it. Don't shame me by asking in front of others. Give me a chance to find the words. Let me calm down. Give me a chance to gather my thoughts. Be straight up and ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. In fact, it helps. When people are thinking about suicide, they want somebody to ask. They want somebody to care. Maybe you think you'll make it worse if you ask. Like you're putting the idea in their head. Believe me, it doesn't work that way. In fact, the best way to keep teenagers safe is to ask. Are you thinking about killing yourself? And what if they say yes? Or maybe. Or sometimes. Well, here's what you don't say. Don't be selfish. Don't be so dramatic. Get over it. That boy's not worth killing yourself over. Go on then, do it. You just want attention. If you don't do it, how do it for you? Are you trying to bring shame to the family? What you do is listen and then say. I'm sorry you're feeling so bad. How can I help? We'll get through this together. Let's keep you safe. A lot of people think about suicide. Most won't try, but some will. If you hear someone say things like, I'd be better off dead. Life's too hard now. Take them seriously. Find someone they can talk to about it. Someone who knows how to help. Sometimes kids want to kill themselves because something has happened. A breakup, bullying, or failure to meet expectations. But sometimes it goes deeper and it's not going to go away by itself. Get some help. Talk to someone you trust. Try the helplines or websites for more information. Or your church leaders or school counsellors. Don't just let it drop. Make sure your kid always has someone to talk to. Someone they trust. Make a list together. Right there. Three, four, five names of support people. Put the suicide helpline number on there too. Make sure they keep it on them. Make sure your home is safe. Lock away pills. Get rid of weapons or anything they may use to hurt themselves with. And one more thing. Don't leave them alone. If you feel you can't keep them safe, call 111. If your loved one tells you they want to end their life, be brave. Be calm and breathe. Reassure them. Allow them to talk. Validate their feelings. Ensure their safety. No matter how small their problem seems to you, it's a big deal to them. It never hurts to ask. And it can make a big difference. Or the difference. In your kid's life.